Okay, here we have a problem on coefficient of thermal conductivity. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a question. Uh, this is a problem we are going to solve in this in question, this problem. I shall uh, solve it first, then uh, you shall try it afterwards. Uh, you must try to understand while I'm solving. Okay, a problem he could solve lie here in low enangahun to kinti join in question dang po hemi ang chi type pakha coefficient of thermal conductivity no a question ania chu ting chi lo solve ve do ni dang kha example ka pe don chu ni so so here we have an area here area okay and thickness on the lower surface to steam at this is a temperature temperature and block of ice this also a temperature lower temperature and in one hour this is one one hour okay and this is a mass 4.8 kg of ice is melted so we are going to find out calculate the thermal conductivity of this stone okay what is thermal conductivity or we can say coefficient of uh, thermal conduction uh, which is k so what is the value of k we are going to find out okay so uh, this will be the solution it's the right solution okay so here we have here we have what do we have first here area uh, capital A area is 0 0.36 meters square 0 0.36 meters square and also we have what do we have uh, here next is thickness Thickness is denoted as small d, so which is which is equal to one zero point one meter. Okay, zero point one meter. And next is here we have um, temperature. Okay, temperature. This is T one. And the higher temperature, hundred degrees centigrade. And here also we have the lower temperature T two, equal to zero degrees centigrade. Okay, and what do we have and uh, what about this our time so t small t is one hour so since this meter in si meter in si this is celsius okay so we have to put this one hour also let's say in a second in si unit so how do we convert one hour means you have to multiply 60 minute into 60 seconds so this will become 3600 second okay so this is the si unit and what about this uh, 4.8 kg is a mass of ice isn't it so mass of ice a mass of ice let's say it is m mass of ice is 4.8 kilogram okay so mass of ice now we have these quantities area thickness temperature higher temperature lower temperature and time and its mass okay now uh, it is not written here uh, since ice have a latent we also have to know let me put here since it is not written it is not given you have to know it before or it may be given in some questions okay what is l this will be latent heat of vaporization or latent heat of fusion of ice which is which is equal to um, 336 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kilogram okay so 336 into 10 to the power 3 is the latent heat of fusion or the latent heat of vaporization of uh, ice if you want to know the latent heat of vap what is the latent heat of vaporization you go back to uh, the earlier chapter okay uh, about calorimity and all uh, which, which i have explained already in the last chapter okay in chapter 6 so you, get, you go back to that so this is L latent heat of fusion. Okay, now um, 
so heat required to melt the ice before that what is the how can we find k we know that if i have explained coefficient of thermal conductivity you if you watch you you will know that and the q is equals to k a t 1 minus t 2 into t uh, this will be the uh, so time time and this will be the thickness okay this you know you, you have already know this formula so we want to find out this k value of k thermal conductivity or coefficient of thermal conductivity we can say this k so but we have to know this what is q there is another expression q equal to this is the amount of heat okay the amount of heat flows q is also we have learned that in the earlier chapter m into l mass of the substance into the latent heat of fusion of that substance okay so it is given the latent heat of fusion and what is m so here 4.8 into what is l 336 into 10 to the power 3 okay so we are going to find out here mm, i shall do here 4 point let me multiply it 336 okay let me multiply here we look carefully at 6 of 48 4 6 4 24 25 26 27 28 uh, it is a 24 okay t4 is a 12 13 14 that means 4 4 1 okay 8 12 mm, 8 9 10 11 4 5 6 1 okay here we have decimal that means like this so 1 6 1 2 point 8 into 10 to the power it is 3 okay that is about 3 or we can write if we place the decimal here 1 2 3 1 point 6 1 2 or before we can, we can round it off here so in place of this we can put 3 okay round it off so 1.613 into 10 to the power now it becomes one more 3 6 okay 1 2 3 the decimal is coming 1 2 3 and this 3 that means 3 plus 3 6 okay so the amount of heat supplied uh, to the ice to melt the ice is equal to 1.6 uh, 1 3 into 10 to the power 6 okay now we we have got this q q value this q value okay now we shall put here the value of this now let put the value of this 1.613 into 10 to the power 6 equal to k what is a we have already know that k a is 0. Point, this is area surface area 0. 0.36 meter square so into 0. 0.36 and then what about this temperature t1 is 100 and t2 is 0 and this time is into 3600 0. okay so you have oh you have to write like this so 3600 0. and what about this d thickness uh, d is 0. 0.1 meter okay 0. 0.1 meter so we have here 0.1 meter okay so it is like this or we can say or uh, here or we can write like this k into so if one if you multiply with here um, if you multiply here with 10 that means 3.6 and here 10 that means it will be 1 okay so it will be like this uh, 3.6 into 100 minus 0 is 100 into 3600 0 divided by so simply 1 so since you multiply both upper and lower 
numerator and denominator with 10 so <clears throat> here the decimal will come here and there will no more decimal decimal okay <clears throat> sorry k in uh, multiply with 3.6 into 100 into uh, 3600 3600 divided by one or is simply is equal to um 3.6 into um, 3.6 into and uh, 36 into 1 2 3 4 10 to the power 4 okay 10 to the power 4 so here we have in the left hand side 1.3 into 10 to the power 6 so so now so proceed on now what we want is this k so what is k so it will be 1.613 into 10 to the power 6 divided by this will come down 3.6 into 36 into 10 to the power 4 okay so if we have cancelled that means 10 to the power 2 is left so 1.613 divided by 3.6 into 36 into 10 to the power 2 okay 10 to the power 2 so this is k let me see okay we shall do in this next we shall continue here okay so k is equal to so if you multiply <coughs> with this with 10 so it will become 1 6 1 3 36 into 36 for simplicity only like this so no more decimal in here no more decimal in the lower in the denominator if we multiply with both with 10 so again if we multiply with this 100 1 6 1 3 divided by 36 into 36 okay so what is 36 into 36 6 6 is 36 6 3 is 18 19 20 21 6 3 is 36 6 3 is 18 3 is 9 10 6 8 9 2 1 so 1 6 1 3 divided by 1 2 9 6 okay so if we divide it here and the k will come out as so 1 point 2 4 5 okay 1 point 2 4 5 so I'll just shortcut it because this will be 1 point something okay so it is 1.245 if we divide this uh, 1613 divided by 196 1296 okay so its unit coefficient of thermal conductivity unit is watt per meter per degree celsius okay per degree celsius so this is the value of k or the value of coefficient of thermal conductivity now we have solved the problem okay so k is 1.245 what so this is how is very very simple this is how we solve a slab of stone of area this much of thickness this much and temperature difference and in one hour this is much of mass 4.8 kg kilogram of ice is melted so the thermal conductivity of the stone uh, we have found it out okay so this is k so that's all so uh, you must also do uh, one example i will give you an example of another problem okay that's all